Well, it was an incredible rescue. A family of eight pulled out of that burning home and that fire broke out in November in a rural part of Parker County. Kevin Reese shows us how weeks later the family is getting by thanks to support from their community. On an icy day in a rural Parker County road, we found Billy Ellis tearing through the final pieces of his neighbors' lives. The charred and melted remnants of a frightening night five weeks ago. Pass me the kid, pass me the kid. This night. There's two unconscious in the front, two kids. There may be more. When the Leonard family home went up in flames with the parents and their six young children inside. Two more people. They all survived, although the dad, Jeff Leonard, is still in the hospital, a ventilator still helping him breathe, the smoke inhalation he suffered was severe. Now this, the next step in their recovery. They're alive and they're so happy to be alive. Chelsea Ellis and her husband Billy at the controls of the heavy machinery are behind the GoFundMe effort to help their neighbors. The mobile home was not insured. So for free, Billy's company Eco Earthworks is clearing, sorting and recycling the debris. Ace and Gary Services hauling it away and others trying to find a new home to place here to donate to the family so they will have a place to come home to. To see a child's clothes soggy and burnt, you know, their toys melted together. I mean, everything this family owned, they lost, literally everything. I mean, look at the pile. And as they sort through these melted toys and bicycles and everything else this family once owned, they need more people this more than one month later to come forward to help put this family back together. The more people that come together, then the better they'll be. If everyone gives a little bit, then it comes out to a lot. The GoFundMe has raised more than $34,000 so far, but that's not even enough to pay for the emergency helicopter flight that took the critically injured dad to the hospital. So neighbors are still asking for help. Just trying to, to do what we can. We're neighbors, you know. We love them just as much as we love our own family. They're a close-knit family and we want them back together back together with the help of one neighbor, one gesture, one dollar, one piece at a time. Near Weatherford in Parker County, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News. And if you'd like to help this family, you can click on this story on the homepage of WFAA.com.